Hey ya, uh, so what if you lost your combination on your master lock, your standard master lock dial combination, and you've looked up YouTube videos and it didn't help, you still can't get your lock open, what do you do? Well, this is a good example of one that's a little bit used and either that or the tolerances aren't very good because it's quite difficult to get the usual feedback to, one, to open one of these master lock set I've described in previous videos. What I said in previous videos is we're going to pull up on the shackle and we're going to test the amount of play in these gates. This is to find the third number, our last number. You can see that's going from about 1 to 2. I release tension the shackle, move a little bit and then tension again and turn. It's going to click into the next one. Okay, that's got a play of about 1 as well. It's going from about 4.5 to 5.5. I'll do the next one. It's got about a play of a 1 just, just before 8 and just before 9 perhaps. And I keep going and I'm looking for one that has a massive amount of play. And I go around each one. Each, each one's only about one number of play so far. And I'm back to the beginning and I haven't found any number. I can't get my third number. What do I do? Well, it's important to do things like not just the amount of play, but sometimes the last number will show up if you really tension the shackle and then a lot of numbers will tighten right up. It's not very loose. If I do that, and with, okay, that one is looser, but it's still not very loose. It's sort of a bit looser I can click. I'm looking for the loosest one. So in this lock, it's not going to be that obvious. So five was a contender. No. No, definitely not. No. Okay, this is a contender, about 28. And so is about 22 a contender. And I'm looking for the loosest one. 25 is a contender and it's it's sort of so loose that it clicks, so that's the loosest so far, 25. And I'm putting quite a bit of tension on the shackle to try and see which ones um, tighten up and aren't so loose. No. Okay, this one's very, very loose. And it makes, so loose it makes that clicking sound, can you hear it? Either side. And no, so it's between 35 and 25. Okay, that's not quite as loose. So 35 is our best bet of our last number. It's, it's still loose under quite heavy shackle tension. Okay, quite heavy shackle tension and it hurts your fingers. But we found the last number, so that's something. Okay, so then we move on to the next step, as I've described in previous videos, where we tension the shackle lightly. That's why I'm only just using one finger. And I'm going to turn it several times to the left and see if I can find one number that sticks. If no number sticks, I increase the tension a little bit. But I don't want tension, too much tension where it's sticking on heaps of places. I only just want one number so I release, release tension a little bit. So just trying to find that one number. But the trouble is with this lock I'm not finding the stuck number. It's either nothing or I increase the tension and then it sticks everywhere. So it's not working. What do you do? Well in one of my previous videos I discussed an alternative method to find the sticky number. And it goes like this. I'm going to tension the shackle quite hard. And I'm going to go to each gate. And I can't get out of the gate to go to the next one unless I release tension a little bit. But I still want tension. I'm going to turn the dial just enough so it just turns out of the gate. I'm going to tension it up again hard. So I'm going to, and then it'll it, the dial's hard to turn and it clicks into the next gate. And I keep on going to see if I can find a place where it's going to get stuck. 
but the problem is with this lock, it's not playing ball. I can't find any stuck number using this method. Okay, so what do you do? Well, don't give up yet. There is yet another method. Okay, if we if we don't get any joy going this way, a lot of people don't know that you can decode combination locks by turning the other way. It's a different combination than what's on the back of these combinations, but it'll still work. So this time I'll be turning the other way. It's like a mirror image except the combination is going to be different. So I'm going to tension this lock and I'm going to, as I say, as heavy tension as I can. I've, I've, by the way, for this lock I've already tried using this method. It should be done first, but th this lock does not give up its secrets either. It's no sticky number or it just gets stuck in lots of places. So that's why I'm going to this alternative method and doing it this way. So as I said, I'm turning it heavy tension. Slightly turn it in heavy tension. Slightly turn it heavy tension. Slightly turn it heavy tension. Slightly turn it and okay, so I've found a stuck number at 12. So I was very lucky to it was my last resort in finding a stuck number for this lock. Okay, so I know the the our third number is we said 35, didn't we? Our first number is this 12 plus 5. Now, remember how I said I'm turning this way, and this is not the usual way to um, put a new combination for these locks. And when you do it this way, it's interesting that sometimes you add plus 5, like in all my other videos, sometimes you add plus 7. It depends which disc is, is catching. Okay. And so we'll try plus 5. If that doesn't work, we'll try plus 7. Okay, 12 plus 5 is 17. So I'm going to turn it several times to the right, not the left. And go to 12 plus 5 is 17. It's the first number. One whole turn the other way. To 17. And we would go on to our second number before going back to 35. But we don't know what our second number is. Well, we're just going to try each one. So I'm going to try two numbers at a time, going around as as our second try for our second number. Two numbers at a time, but I don't have to try every single number because of the tolerance of this lock, as I've described in previous videos. So I'm going to keep on going to 17 as my first try, and then back to 35. And the lock opens already, so I got lucky. Okay, so that was... 17, 15, 35. If 15 didn't work, I'd try um, 13, 35, and then 11, 35, and so on until the lock opened. Okay, so it is possible, but if one technique doesn't work, there are other techniques to try. And if one direction doesn't work, we can try the other direction. Usually we go in this way, like turning this way, will also open a combination lock a different number than the combination on your back on the back of this even though actually the last number will be the same okay so I'm going to 17 several times to the right going to 17 back to 17 and then further to 15 and then to 35 and the lock goes right if you really want to know what the combination is at the back of this to decode it to the right. What we can do is do a little bit of maths on the combination when we turn it to the left to get the other one. I'll show you what I mean. Our first, and when turning it to the left, our first number was 17. We're going to, we're going to add 5 to that 17. I know we went from 12 to 17, but we're going to add 5 to that 17, and we're going to get 22. That is our first number for turning it this way. So let's do that. So several times to the right, go to 
instead of 17, we said k to 22 instead. One full turn around. And what is our second number for that we have to go to? Well, you know how in turning it the other way, the second number was 15. Instead of adding, we're going to take away. And instead of taking away 5, we're going to take away about half that, or about 2. So instead of 15, we're going to go to 13. So we carry on going to 13. And then the 35 stays the same. And the lock opens. And in fact, that's what it says around about 23, 13, 35. We said 22, but the tolerances of the slot means that it'll open anyway because you can be you're allowed to be one out. If I was wanted to find out what the combination is the other way, when I'm going from this turning to the right, going to the left, it would be the first number five less, the second number two more, and the last number the same. If you've got a combination lock and you know the combination of turning it to the right, try that. Try subtracting 5 from the first number, adding to the second number, and the last number stays the same, and try and try and dial that into your lock, turning that way first, and see if it opens. Thanks.